back to the big B-17 build. Today is a particularly exciting day around here because today marks the start of wing construction. I made a lot of progress with the fuselage, but before I can go any further, I need to have at least the central section of the wing worked out so I can work out the wing attachment and the fairings on the fuselage. Now, if you remember way back when I built the horizontal stabilizers, I used a hot wire technique that used a box like this rather than a solid blank to cut the airfoil. Now, I want to use the same technique for the wings, but obviously they're going to be much more complicated and much larger. Now, the stab started with a box like this. Here are the boxes for the wings. Here is the uh, inboard section and the outboard section. <sighs> yeah, so that's happening. Um, the inner panels will get cut from this box and uh, joined to a central section and the main spar will run the full length providing attachment points for the nacelles and the main gear. The outer panels will be cut from this box and will be joined to the inner section using these carbon fiber tubes and sleeves. So uh, enough talk, let's start cutting some panels. So again the process starts by splitting the large boxes into halves. This ensures that the panels will be mirror images of each other. When this is done, I lay everything out to check the fit and alignment, adding the center section that I had cut from the fuselage. At this point, I can lay everything together and just appreciate the size of the build. But then it's time to start cutting the individual panels. Here I'm starting with the right outboard panel, cutting the top first and then the underside. Make sure you weight everything down really well and have good ventilation. Here I'm cutting the left inboard panel. You want to move slowly, making sure the wire doesn't snag or hang up on your templates. It's tough to cut panels this big, so keep your wire hot and work slowly but smoothly. Again, I cut the top side first, flipped it over, and then I cut the underside. I didn't film it, but I did add some light carbon fiber stringers to each panel to keep them stiff and help resist twisting before the sheeting goes on. When everything was done, I taped everything together and took it outside to get some motivational shots. This really gives you an idea of the size of this build, all 138 inches of it. Now there's still a lot of work to do, so be sure to subscribe to follow along. And until next time, thanks for watching.